Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today, I want to work on a little bit of HP Tuner, some basic, basic stuff. If you know how to use HP Tuners at all, then this video is not for you because I barely know how to use HP Tuners myself. Um, but I can get my vehicle up, running, and driving. So, what I want to do here is just like start out with the most basic of stuff for people. Um, I recommend if, if you're advanced intermediate at all, you go watch Goat Rope Garage. The guy's really helpful. He has a lot of information. But if you just don't even know like where to start and what you're looking at and what you're doing, uh, hopefully I can help you out here. Um, so, when you open up HP Tuners with the little wrench icon, uh, this is all you're going to see. So you can go open a file. You see I have a bunch of files here. That's because I save every one every time I make a change. Um, so we'll back up to logs and tunes and we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do my nephew's uh, Silverado. It's pretty indicative of what you guys are using as donor. So this is a stock 5.3 file um, from his 2004 Silverado. If you click on the engine tab, it pulls up all this different stuff. It's not really where you need to start though. If you have a swap and all you want it to do is run, um, see I have to play around too. That's not, I, I don't do this often enough and sometimes I forget. But this is where all your codes are at. But this is not where your VATs are at. I think that's in the system tab. General. Yeah. So the first thing that you want to do. Well, the first thing you want to do is save this as something else. So we'll save as. And make sure you save as because... You can save over your stock file and then it's gone and that's a real bummer. So we'll just do a YouTube tutorial folder here. Um, and then I'll put stock file 5.3, drive-by-wire. Uh, those are the pertinent things that we need to know. So with that file name, I'll be able to remember what this was. It's a stock 5.3 file, drive-by-wire. I'll put the year too, so that I know. Um, so from there, if you have a swap and all you want it to do is run, you can go to the system tab. You can go to the VATS control, change it from serial to none. And you can save as... That's deleted. So I'll know that this is a stock file, blah, 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 with just the VATS deleted. And it's going to allow me to do that because I've already licensed this file. So Trenton paid for the licensing credits for this file. So I can make all the changes I want forever. I haven't even seen Trenton's truck in like three months. Um, that's one of the questions that I get all the time. I have to keep buying credits. I have to keep buying credits. I don't want to keep buying credits. Every You don't have to do that. Where you will run into problems um, is if you want to, sorry, my cat's losing her mind. Um, if you go to like the repository, the tune repository, you'll hear people talking about that. Um, and you can reach the repository from the HP tuners. You have to go into my account. You have to log in. Um, and once you log in to your account, then you can access the Tune repository. You can't otherwise. Um, so here we'll go. Say we want to find, we want to cheat, right? Everybody wants a quick way to tune their junk and like, let me get that tune file, bro. The deal is that you're going to have to learn how to tune, period. But a good way to learn how to tune 
is to compare what other people have done. So we'll cover that real quick. So we enter 2004, blah, 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 and then it pulls up a bunch of different tune files, right? Um, four inch exhaust, supercharger, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's find, here's a, here's a turbo one. Here's another turbo one. I want to find like a cammed. There we go. 226, 229 cam Silverado with built transmission. Now you're going to grab this because you got like a sloppy stage two or something, right? And so you're going to download this and they're going to give you a warning saying you can blow your stuff up because the people on the internet are not necessarily the smartest people. You're going to ignore it. You're gonna grab it, you're gonna download it, right? You're gonna go back to HP Tuners. Um, we'll close this tutorial file and, and I'm gonna do what most people will do, I'll make the mistake, right? So there's my new file. I've opened it, right? And now I want to say I wanna, I don't know, say I wanna do literally anything, right? So I'll go to the system and turn, I'll turn the VATS back on. It's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me make any change to this file and it's not going to let me write this file. And the reason for that is because I don't have a license for this file, okay? Um, and this is where people get into tr trouble where they start spending hundreds of dollars on credits and stuff that they don't need to do. So what you can do if you're just trying to learn or you're trying to cheat and you just want to take this guy's word for it, you can go up here to the compare function. You can open a compare file. We can go back to our little practice tune. I mean, where this is at for you is going to vary on where you installed your stuff. Um, so we'll go back into our YouTube tutorial. Our VAT's deleted. So this is a 100% stock file, right? Now we'll go up to... I don't know. Everybody always talks about the VE table. We'll, we'll start there. So the VE table, ironically, even though it controls your injectors and is, all this other stuff is like adaptive stuff that's added to or subtracted from the VE table. The VE table is the basis of everything, right? It's in the airflow tab. Go figure. So airflow, general, main VE, click this primary. This is what controls your injectors all the time. All the other stuff, the map sensor, everything else goes off of this table. So if it's not right, nothing else is going to be right. And sometimes it's not right enough that it falls within the little parameters and, and like the map and the map can fix it. And sometimes not. So up here, you see these little calendars this is what they look like to me, even though they're like Excel tables or whatever. Um, show main, which is our new downloaded from the repository or the sloppy tune cabinet or, or the file section in the driveway engineer Facebook group or wherever, wherever you got this from that you're just gonna run it, right? And then up here is your show compare, the little red dot in the calendar. That's what shows your file. You see it's way different, right? See all these, uh, like right here, 415 KPA. We're at 52. This guy's at 30, 29, we're at 55. Um, the reason for that is because he has a cam and the cam runs less efficiently down low. And I bet if we look up high, 5,200 is at 59, or we're at 49, he's at 45. He didn't add it back in. I would expect to see it adding back in up high, but who knows? I don't know how he came to these numbers. Um, Actually, that's not a realistic number that he's ever going to hit. He'd be over here somewhere. So let's look at 5,270. That should be a number he actually hits. Yeah, 88. So he just didn't tune this because his he never hit it. Um, you'll never actually use the cell. But see down here, we're at 88. He's at 81. It's different. Anyway... 
the one with the red and the blue, like they're going to rock them, sock them, row about it, is the difference. Okay? So I don't recommend that you do this. I recommend that you go through table by table and, and figure out what changed and, and ask yourself, try to learn why they changed it. But you can just go in here, show differences, click that, hit zero, hit equals, and now these are the chain are exactly the same. You have this guy's main VE fuel table. Actually, I'm doing it backwards because I have the other file open. So what you'll need to do is close this. Don't save the changes. I'm sorry that I'm doing this all ass backwards, but whatever. You get the idea. This is our table that we, we licensed, right? So we'll go back. We'll open the compare file, which is the one we downloaded from the interwebs. Um, we'll go into the VE table. So now I can do this. Now I can hit show changes. 0%. Bam. I have exactly that guy's feeling once I save this. Um, you can go to the idle tab. If you're trying to tune for a cam, see his idle set points are way lower as far as the RPM. I don't know why that is. I don't know why Trenton's are so high, but there we are. Um, this is the RPM based on coolant. And then in the airflow tab, you have your base running airflow, which is really important. Um, see Trenton's is way higher. I'm sorry, I'm backwards. The compare file is way higher. So you can just do this, hit that, hit zero, hit equals, and you have exactly that guys, uh, base running airflow. You can go to this base set point, compare, hit all these, hit zero, hit equals. Now, if that guy didn't know what he was doing, you can blow your crap up. Who knows? I, I don't know if that's appropriate or not. Um, and neither do you, which is why I really cannot stress enough how much I... Go through, sure, and look at the spark table and say, okay, this is what my stock one was at, and this is what the cam one's at, and wow, he put a lot of timing in. I wonder if that's safe. Like, ask yourself these questions, right? He's got, like, right here at 1,624 degrees, whereas you're only at, like, 18, 16 degrees. Is that safe? It is. Spoiler alert. But you don't know that. Ask yourself these questions when you're going through these tables. Um... Really, I'm going to try to end this video here to keep it from getting too long because my analytics shows me that people don't watch the whole thing and they tend to just kind of hunt me down on Facebook and uh, DM me anyway. But know this, all my DMs, if you're not on my friends list, go directly into a filter and I'll probably never see it. So you should really watch this video. And if it doesn't answer your questions, you should probably join the Facebook group and post them up there where somebody, maybe me, maybe not, will be able to help you. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save it as uh, Camtune half copied. There's a million more tables, but that should get you familiar enough to get you started and to get you on to the next set of questions, right? It's very difficult when you're in over your head and you don't even know what questions to ask. And I understand that. Like, it, it's overwhelming. It took me way longer than I want to admit to figure out that the VE table was in the airflow tab, for instance. That's why I stressed it. Um, so, yeah, th there's some stuff out there that, that can be buried in these tables. And, of course, there's so many tables that there's more than one way to accomplish the exact same thing, too. Um Sometimes it means somebody's right and somebody's wrong, and sometimes it doesn't because it's just, you know, six one way and a half dozen the other. Um, but we'll go through that stuff as we go, and hopefully you guys can continue to give me good suggestions on what to show. Hopefully this helps if you're just completely bewildered 
of what to do and hopefully I didn't go too fast. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you out on your little swap journey and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.